Welcome to another Fog of Gore quick painting recipe, where I'll show you a fast way of painting a poxwalker in an alternative painting scheme. I'm painting little Bobby here with just a handful of contrast paints, and that really is the way to go when you want to paint a load of these poxwalkers. Keep your palette limited and work in batches, and you'll knock out 60 of these before you know it. I'm starting with the biggest surface on this poxwalker, and that's his skin. It's all done in Gilliman flesh. Then I paint the leather straps and pouches with snakebite leather. Then it's time for his tentacles, and these are painted in ethermatic blue, a bright blue that contrasts nicely with the skin tones. Then I'm using wildwood to paint his horns, spikes and the haft of his hammer. This is one of my favorite contrast paints for anything made out of wood. Now I'm going over all the pustules with plague bearer flesh. This bright yellow-green paint is perfect for this. I also do his loincloth in the same color. Then I finally apply my standard rust recipe to the hammer head. This is done with typhus corrosion and then a light dry brush of Risa rust. I hope you like this alternative paint scheme for a poxwalker. If you have a death guard army, you will probably have a load of these guys on the table and varying your paint scheme for them is a good way to not lose your mind while painting them. Thank you for watching this quick painting recipe. I hope you learned something, enjoyed it, and maybe you can use it for your own armies. And if you liked it, please click that thumbs up and subscribe for a lot more of these videos. You can check out my Patreon or my website fogofgore.com for many more of these recipes and other tutorials. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.